When people say they want to come down here skateboarding, I'm often apprehensive because it's not the easiest place. But with the right crew and people who know there's more to life than skateboarding and want to see other things, and the skateboarding just happens organically. Yeah, I like how you saw the cowardice in my eyes. Fuck! Tasmania. I was really stoked and didn't know anything about it, so I mean, I did what everybody else does and kind of like looked it up. I've been to Australia before, but just like the mainland, so I was kind of expecting it to be somewhat similar to that, but it was actually a lot different. The architecture was a lot different, the scenery, the beaches were like a lot more beautiful. Been here before, but it was much more brief than this time around. It's always fun to kind of just go completely out of your comfort zone with just random people. It doesn't really matter like what you skate or who you skate with. If you just come on a trip with randoms, you just can like skate anything and it's always fun, you know? That's kind of like a rarity I feel like nowadays. The skate spots are cool. Yeah, they were like a lot different. It's kind of like harder to find some spots, but I feel like there's definitely a lot here that just people haven't been to or know where it is. So I thought we got a lot of skating done. Stuff you don't expect to find is always way better than the stuff like that you've got on the list, but you've seen a million times. You know, I don't know. it's always fun finding something you haven't seen. A wild gem. Americans. They're, they're so professional. They're so good at skating. Ryan just doesn't need a warm up ever. He's just always ready to go. And Leo doesn't need any run up for anything. <laughs> He's sick. It's, it's been sick watching him skate. I've done like a 
a trip here before and I thought we'd saw all the spots, but we found heaps of stuff just cruising around, just being skate rats, I guess. Jackson's one of my best mates and I always am willing to sign up for a trip. I think he's very shy around certain people with skateboarding. I think when he's shy he sort of slides into the supporter. You know? He's very particular about what he wants to skate. I think it's the skater he wants to be. He's so modest to the point where it pisses me off. My favorite part of the trip was probably going to the Bay of Fires, so that was pretty epic, you know, going and checking out that coastline and, you know, we got to hang out and do a lot of scenery tourist stuff, which you don't really get to do on a lot of trips, so that was really cool to do all that. Look at the size of that too. He'd be stoked he doesn't have that fucking with his life. Highlight for me, for the trip, was definitely catching 20 squids with all the hogs in the hog boat. Yeah, oh, holy it? hog! Oh! oh! <laughs> that was good. I almost missed the hog boat too. I almost missed it, but I caught the boat last minute. And Reese, look at all the squids. <laughs> um, we all got equally inked. I got ink in my mouth. The truth is, Tasmania can be a very harsh place, and I mean, it has several hundred years of history of breaking even the strongest men. In this instance, there were seven guys who took everything it threw at them and just turn it into good times and yeah, some great skateboarding. That was like, I was like riding. We were, that was like the Taipan.